The fact of the matter is this, Boeing is bleeding, the aircraft manufacturer could suffer losses to the tune of billions of dollars in the weeks ahead. They say when it rains it pours, Boeing is under one such unrelenting shower right now. Trouble is flying at it from all sides. The company's stock dropped sharply after the crash in Ethiopia. It has fallen by 11% in the past two days. The stocks recovered in today's trade, recovered a bit, but the sentiment is far from bullish. There are demands for compensation. Norway's airline, the Norwegian Air, is demanding compensation from Boeing after its planes were grounded. Norwegian Air has had to ground 18 MAX 8 jets. The airline is running into losses now, and if this disruption continues for a long period of time, it will have to deploy new planes to ferry passengers. According to one estimate, the airline could pay up to $1.5 billion for this crisis, and it's a, it, is a, it expects Boeing to foot that bill. Other low-cost carriers could raise similar demands. Boeing is also facing a string of lawsuits filed by families of the Lion Air crash victims. Many of them have been filed in Chicago, where the company is based. In the long term, this crisis could severely impact the business of Boeing. The company had planned to dedicate nearly 64% of its production resources to the, Max, to the 737 MAX 8 series till 2032. But if passengers and pilots lose faith in the company, it will not be able to sell these new planes of the 737 MAX series. Not this plane at least. And that's not all. The 737 MAX is the largest contributor to Boeing's earnings right now. Boeing has a backlog of more than 4,600 orders for the MAX, the 737 MAX. According to Goldman Sachs, this aircraft makes up 33% of Boeing's total revenue for the next five years. They could lose all of this money if airlines refuse to buy these planes. At this stage, everything comes down to the ongoing investigation into the Ethiopian Airlines crash. A link between this crash that happened on Sunday and last year's Lion Air crash is yet to be established. But this crisis has already exposed the fault lines within Boeing. Pilots are not being trained. There are claims that the company is cutting corners in production. Safety is being compromised to save cost. This is a full-blown crisis for the leader of the global aviation industry. And about time we say.